What's up you guys, I'm Groundwalker here with another episode of Shooting Figures. I forget which episode this is, I'm losing track, but I always title them right, so you guys can always rely on that. But here is another episode of Shooting Figures. We got a display right now, this is for the loner theme, um, that is like a pre-theme before it's on the calendar, which an image should be popping out, you've seen it in my other videos, but um, it's a theme kind of like for a warm-up of summer shots, and so basically the reason why this is loner is because Punisher is basically a one-man firing squad. He's like, I don't need you, Red shut up like I'm doing this by myself basically sort of thing is kind of what's going on um so yeah so I'm really happy with this, with this display I just got the idea I was just gonna do him alone like I was like thinking like what can I do with loner and Punisher is one of you know like the greatest loners you know not saying he's like he doesn't have backup but you know he lost his whole family so he's really depressed and tries to do everything by himself um so that's why I kind of wanted to have Punisher and I took many shots um, without Daredevil in it with different colors and stuff so um, those might make it in or the Daredevil one I don't know yet but I'm really happy with the way this is coming out so let's talk about the set um, it's a one two three four five light set actually six seven technically seven but um, you could definitely do without some lights I think the color light is not really necessary back there I like it a lot but it's not really necessary I'll turn it off real quick so you guys can see what it looks like without it um, but I honestly don't think it's like truly necessary to the set at all. So there you go without it. See, I mean, it doesn't take anything away. It just adds a little uh, pop of color in my opinion. So that's why I like it. But anyway, I'm um, going over the set. So we got two cutouts, a raboom for the explosion back there and a blam, blam, blam um, for the minigun type of thing where it's just blam, blam, I guess, but it kind of looks like blam, blam, blam um, for the minigun. And you got Daredevil back there chained up like Frank stopped this and Frank's just letting loose with his minigun on a uh, some thugs, we assume. And this is obviously in a warehouse of some kind. So let's take a look at the set and the behind the scenes, uh, shall we? So we got Frank with his Gatling gun with these two snake lights that are kind of snaking in from around the table, um, just on them. You want to hit it from the side so it doesn't completely blast his face or anything else. If it comes from the sides and hits a little bit of Punisher, then it highlights him perfectly. Um, the Blam 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 cutout is actually on a ACBA flight stand. This is made by 796 Studios, but ACBA flight stands work the exact same, and I have a lot of ACBA flight stands, so I would recommend using those as well. Um, so that's what that's on, and there's just a little blue tack behind it. I'll showcase that real quick. Um, that's just holding it up. So, and then I have Punisher's arm and whole body kind of covering it. So that's where that's coming from. Uh, Daredevil's on this beam that I made a while ago, um, and I just used some chain, and then I used a little tack in the side to just keep the chain up. So that's what's going on there. And he's not balanced perfectly, but it kind of looks like he's trying to break out, which is good. We've got our one warehouse wall and our hardwood floor. This is the same set I was using the Deadpool one. We got our two explosion effects by Bandai Tamashii Nations. You can also use block series effects, other stuff. And um, we have a Raboom cutout that I did outline. I mainly outlined this one, which was a pain, but you gotta outline your cutouts to make sure they look good. Um, then two Yulanzi cube lights behind them, lighting them up. I have one of them elevated on an SD card holder and the other on one of my little dollar store lights. Um, we got our one red light shining on both the windows back there, mainly the right one, and then two of our diffused desk lights just doing kind of like the soft, basic lighting on Punisher and Daredevil, um, so they're still in focus. And I think that's everything. Um, the Raboom also is held up by some blue wax, um, blue tack, just the same as the Blam 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 is. So yeah, I'm really, really liking this set, guys. I'm super happy with the way it's coming out. I love it. I'm, <laughs> I'm just super happy, and I'm super happy with my inspiration in the past or at least being inspired in the past uh, couple days. I've been watching, I'll give you guys a little update, um, which you'll hear on the Shattered Books podcast when I talk about binges, but I've been watching Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which is probably the best Marvel cartoon besides um, X-Men the Animated Series and Spectacular Spider-Man, in my opinion. Um, it's the best Marvel cartoon that deals with the Avengers, for sure, and the classic kind of team-ups. So I highly recommend you watch it. It's on Disney+, Plus, all episodes. Um, so I've been re-watching that and just getting super inspired for Avengers stuff. I've been reading comic books. In fact, right now, I just finished Craven's Last Hunt two days ago, I want to say. About two days ago because I hadn't read it before. So that was awesome, amazing book. And then right now, I'm about halfway done with Daredevil Born Again, which is another uh, seven-part series. So I'm reading that. That's why you kind of have Daredevil in here. I was, you know, a little inspired to put him in here, but mainly Punisher, but still a little Daredevil. Um, yeah, and so I've just been getting really inspired with ideas and, you know, just seeing everyone's work on the board, being pretty active and giving advice and stuff, so, and all the contests and, you know, stuff coming up, I'm super hyped about. Uh, I picked up two figures today, which there should be a little section of this video cutting to that, me talking about those or an Instagram story of those, but they're the uh, Black Widow 
White Suit Black Widow in the leader action figure, which I was saying on my story, I think it's hilarious because I was watching, uh, there's a two part, there's two, there's a two part, I guess, um, episode, two episode, oh my god, I'm trying to like think of the right word. I guess there's a story that's two episodes long in Earth's Mightiest Heroes called Gamma World. Uh, where the leader basically turns half of North America into gamma mutants of some kind. Not mutants, I don't think that's right, but gamma monsters. Including most of the Avengers, and then Hawkeye, Hulk, and Thor are the only ones left to stop him. And so they try to stop um, the leader, and then they do, and the Avengers are back together. So, point being, those are the only two episodes of Earth's Mightiest Heroes I watched today, because those are the two I was on, you know, I'm doing them in order. And I just thought it was hilarious because then I go to Target and I find the leader action figure. So it was meant to be. Um, and I think I'm going to use the leader action figure in one of my scientist um, displays, which I'm super, super, super excited about. Um, so I can't wait for that. So yeah, um, again, please, please guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to bump the content up, bump the subscriber count up, everything up. And please follow my Instagram. That's where you see all my updates on my stories of figures I'm getting and YouTube videos coming out. You can see all my ACBA that I do. And yeah, guys, so thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm your boy Aiden. Until next time, I'll see you later.